Hello, my name is Caroline. In this video, I am taking this Xbox Connect. This originally went to an Xbox One, and I'm gonna show you how to make a 3D bust of yourself with this Connect. I'll show you all the parts that you need and what software to install in order to create a 3D bust of yourself. Now let's get started. and I'm gonna start a screen recording and we're gonna get started with this right now. I'm gonna to link to this website in the description field below, but honestly, the way I found it was I just typed in Connect SDK and this was a Google result and I downloaded the Connect for Windows SDK 2.0. I went through and in installed this. Now, if you're not familiar with how to install it, it has uh, system requirements. This is for a Windows. I'm on Windows 10. It says it's for Windows 8 and 8.1, so it does mostly work with a Windows 10 device. You need a 64-bit processor, four gigs of memory, physical dual core 3.1 gigahertz, and a capable graphics adapter. Now you're gonna go through, download this, then according to the instructions, then you wanna connect the connect. I'm gonna quickly go over how we plug in the Xbox to our laptop Windows computer. Now, when you take a look at this Xbox version two, or the one that goes with the Xbox One, you'll see this is the connector, and I don't have this kind of connector on my laptop. Thus, I'm gonna get one of these connect adapters, and this is one I purchased off Amazon, and it has several components to it, and there are instructions on how to plug it in, and it comes with this converter adapter box as such, and from our Xbox Connect module, there is a plug, plug that in, we need to power this up, and it does come with a power cord. Power cord has a power brick, and we'll plug in the power, and then I've got a power strip here. here. I'll plug that in, and that powers that up. Now we need to connect this to the USB on our laptop, and there is a connector that plugs in like this, and then we'll plug this USB end into our laptop computer, and that is how we connect the Connect to our Windows device. It should automatically download the drivers and it may require a reboot. Now, the thing that you need to check when you believe you have everything installed is you go into Device Manager, then you should see Connect Sensor Devices. You wanna open that up, so press the little arrow key and then WDF Connect Sensor Interface 0. You wanna right click on that and you may need to update your driver. If you need to do so, then you will just update it with recommended settings. Once you finish that, you may need to reboot again. Now the next thing you need is you need a program called 3D Scan. Now on my computer, 3D Scan was already installed. I'm not sure if I happened to install it through something else or if it came pre-installed. I'm not really sure how that happened or what happened there. If you don't have 3D Scan already installed, it is a free download. I'm gonna go into the App Store and I'm gonna go search for 3D Scan and it's already installed. If it wasn't installed, I would go through and I would hit install, it would install, and then I would launch it. Here is 3D Scan, and this is the program that scans your body. What I learned about 3D Scan was to adjust the depth. So if it's in black and white, it's not gonna scan. If it's in color, it will scan. But you don't wanna scan your background. There is a minimum depth of 0.7. I'm assuming that's meters. Uh, it doesn't really say here. Set it to about one. If it is, it, that means it's scanning the wall because the wall is in color or because you, it's lighted up. We want to have the depth so it's just my face is in color, just my body that I'm going to scan. The width, you can adjust the width, uh, wider, adjust it to where you want to be. All right. And then you can rotate. So I don't advise you to rotate. And then if you're doing this by yourself, you're going to want to do timer. I'm going to show you in the next step exactly how I did this. You don't want your depth too far, otherwise you'll be scanning the wall and it will think that it needs to 3D render that. You really want to set your depth as, as shallow as possible and your width and height as small as possible just so that it's just you because you're scanning just yourself. So I'm going to show you in the next step how we actually do that. Okay, so the connect is right here. My laptop's right here. I'm going to start the scan. Okay, Paul's going to get 
uh, back in position. You're going to see what I'm doing on the computer here, and we're going to try to do a scan. So he's going to spin around several times. All right, very slowly, he's going to start spinning around. And I'm going to hit the scan button here, and Paul's going to start uh, turning around very slowly. And yeah, this is the connect. I'm gonna hit the stop button. Processing frames right now, and it's gonna spit out a 3MF, which can be read by Kira. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Next, we're gonna to try to scan my face. There is quite a bit of trial and error. We're gonna keep on doing this until we can get a good scan of Paul, and we're gonna try a scan of myself next, and I'm gonna show you how you can do this by yourself. I'm gonna move my Connect in front of the camera. I'm gonna spin around in this uh, rolling chair now. In the last scene, you saw me turn around and do a 3D scan of myself. Now, I have previewed the 3D scan. Uh, the second 3D scan I did on the rolling chair, on the swivel chair, worked out a lot better. So I'm gonna use that scan in this video. I'm gonna show you how I edit it so that I can print it out. What I'm going to do now is I'm downloading 3D Builder. I have installed 3D Builder from the Windows App Store, same way I installed 3D Scan. I'm gonna hit Launch now, and we're gonna to go to Caroline 2. Here I am, invalidly defined, click here to repair. All right, so I'm gonna repair my file. All right, it looks like I'm done repairing my file. I'll hit Edit. I'm gonna do the line. I want to move this down a bit. Think right there. Keep top, split, and let's see if I can do a save as. File, I'm gonna hit save as. I'm gonna call this Caroline 2A, save. I'm going to import my Caroline 2A file, and of course it is too big. All right, so I need to select all models sizing. I'm going to go to 400. It's my size and then move this over to zero, zero, zero and see if that works. All right. And there I am. So how big am I now? I'm 40 by 25. Maybe I'll make myself a little bit larger here. All right. There I go. And let's uh, select my profile and let's slice this up. And this is my bust. It's slicing it up. And it says one hour and 35 minutes. I'll hit print with Octoprint. And I can go over to my Octoprint now. And let's see if we can get that started. I'm gonna hit print. And we'll wait for it to heat up. And I'll start printing. And yeah, let's check it out. We'll be back in a couple hours and I'll show you the final outputs.